Did you know that you can use your Docker images that have been published into GitHub Container Registry within your actions without creating a personal access token? Let's take a look how. So in a recent video, I showed you how you can publish videos to GitHub Container Registry in order to make those uh, Docker images available for others to use. Well, sometimes you want to be able to publish your images, but keep them private, but still use them within um, within your, your repositories, within your actions. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that without using a personal access token. And this is important, especially if you're working within like an organization where you don't necessarily want to have um, an individual's personal access token tied to your workflows. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start up in GitHub and we're going to head to packages. And the image we just created recently was this Hello World GHCR. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to head to package settings on the right hand side. And you can see we have this section here, which allows us to grant repository access from to this package within the context of using them for GitHub actions. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to add the repository we've been working with so far. So we'll say um, publishing is publishing. No. So we'll say publish. Publish Docker Hub images have been the repository we're working with. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and add the repositories. And we can see it has a role of read by default, but you can actually update it to write to the repository or you can set it to admin so they can upload, download, manage the package as well as read and write the metadata. So we can leave it at read since all we're going to be doing is pulling in this container uh, into or pulling in this image into an actions workflow. Um, without using a personal access token. So now that's done, let's open a VS code and add a new workflow in order to pull this in. So then just to kind of give a recap of what's going on here, this Docker container image simply executes a single bash script that sells that says hello from GHCR. And the Docker file simply wraps that inside of the container image so this way it can be executed. We have several workflows already created two, one that publishes the images to Docker Hub and one that publishes the image to GitHub container registry. But we actually want to now pull the image into an action. So I'm going to click on the dot github slash workflows folder and create a new file. I will say pull image dot yaml. And let's start creating this image. So I'm going to give it a name or creating this workflow. I'm going to give it a name of pull ghcr image. We're just going to add the workflow dispatch trigger here just so this way we have to run it manually, which is fine for the context of this here. So I'm going to create our list of jobs. We're going to have one job. I'm going to name it poll image. It's going to run on Ubuntu latest. So it's going to be built on a Linux virtual machine. And then we're going to create our steps here now. So there are three main steps. The first one is an unnamed step that just uses the checkout action. So uses actions forward slash checkout at v3. The second one is going to be named Docker login. And this is actually going to use a specific action published by the official Docker organization named Docker forward slash login hyphen action at v2.1.0 is the version at the time of this writing. It might be a little bit newer by the time you watch this video, but just check that within the check that inside of the GitHub actions marketplace. Um, and then we're going to have three parameters here. So the first is going to be registry, and that's going to be ghcr.io. The second parameter is username. And now this is actually going to be github.actor. And this actor here is actually the user principle that of the action itself that is executing all of these steps here. It is not your GitHub username. That's important. That's what makes this a little bit different. This is actually supposed to be username. Um, and the password is actually going to be, again, we're not going to use the, any kind of personal access token, but instead we're going to use secrets.github underscore token, which is a token that's tied directly to this action. When we, in, in the first step of this video, when we granted the repository access to that action, the github.actor and secrets.github token is the credentials of the repository that's executing that action. And that's where that becomes very important uh, in this, in the context of what we're doing here. Okay, so then the last step is going to be another named step. We're going to say run the image. And then we're just going to make this a script. So I'm going to say run. We'll pipe in an extra line here and say docker run ghcr.io forward slash bmorrisondev forward slash hello world 
GHCR latest. Okay, just like that. So again, to recap, our first step here is we're going to check out the latest version of the code. We're going to log in using the Docker CLI within the GitHub running container, the container that's actually running all of this stuff for us. So we're going to use that to log in, but we're not using any our username and password. We're using the actor and the GitHub token, which is tied to the repository directly. And then finally, we're simply going to run the image just to make sure that it spits something out into the into the logs. OK. So now that that's done, let's commit all these changes. I'm going to pull up a terminal here and I will say git add period to add all of our working files into the staging section for, for git. We'll say git commit m and then we'll say, we'll just add a message of pull image. Pull image is fine, like that. And then finally git push and then again, um, if you follow along with the series, you should be comfortable with, you should be familiar with this, but if not, I have a separate remote on this machine named GitHub, which pushes it to that specific GitHub repository that we started off with. I'll hit enter to push those changes. Okay. So I had to fiddle with my Git settings a little bit to get it to push properly. It's completely not related to the context of this video, but now that I've have everything synced up the way it should, all of my changes should have been pushed up into GitHub. So let's head over there and take a look. Okay, so I'm in the actions tab of this repository. On the left hand side, I have this new workflow named pull GHCR image. So I'll select that and let's run this workflow and see what happens. Okay, so the workflow has completed. Let's go ahead in here. I'm gonna open it up and select the pull image step that we had defined at that job or the pull image job. And then let's go to run image. This is the important part here. So we should say a hello from GHCR, which I, which we do. So as you can see, we were able to pull this off without creating a personal access token simply by updating the permissions um, within the GitHub package that hosts that container image. And uh, now we don't need to tie our action runs to a specific user's personal access token. Hopefully after watching this video, you have a good understanding on how you can use your own Docker images published to GitHub container registry in your actions without using a personal access token. That was a really long outro, but we're just gonna kind of roll with it. If you've ever used the container registry within GitHub or GitHub packages as a platform in general, do me a favor and let me know in the comments what you thought about that, about using the platform. And if you enjoyed this video, you might like my previous video where I show you how to publish these images into Docker or into GitHub container registry. But with that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.